I made this super simple PNG tuber in less than five minutes and I am going to show you how to do it too. Howdy folks, my name is Speaker4 and the first thing we're gonna do, go to Google and search VitoTube Mini. You're gonna click on the first link, which is an itch.io link. It's gonna bring you to a download for VitoTube Mini. You'll click download. It's gonna ask you to pay, but if you don't want to, you can just say no thanks to take me to the downloads. You're gonna download the file and open it. Once you open it, it's going to look something like this. Now this little guy is cute, but it's probably not the PNG tuber you want. So I'm gonna show you how it works and then we're gonna get a customized one for you. So the way this works is there's four scenes that you can pick from. A closed mouth image, an open mouth image, a closed mouth blinking image, which is an optional transition image, and an open mouth blinking image, which is also an optional transition image. Now this part might not apply to you if you have your own PNG you wanna use, but if you wanna make a Minecraft one like me, you're gonna download a free program called Minimator. Minimator, once you open, is going to look something like this. We're gonna click new project, name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna key smash. Click the little crafting table at the top, import a model, character model, human, variant, whatever your Minecraft skin is. Then you're gonna select download from Minecraft user. I'll put in my username, hit enter, and it's gonna download my skin. I'll just hit create and position myself in this new world. Now you can zoom in, the controls take a little bit of getting used to, but at the very basic, you can position your guy, and then you can select individual limbs to pick however you want. I'm gonna actually reset and take one screenshot of my guy, just from the hips up like this. And you can do this in 720p or 1080, it just depends on your quality. You'll save that image, pose your PNG, however you want him to look for his open speaking position. For me, I just had his arm sticking out slightly, pointed up, and his head just tilted a little bit. You're gonna take another screenshot of that in the exact same position, save it with a different name, and then you're gonna open Photoshop. I'm gonna use Photoshop because I have it, but if you wanna use free tools, I'm gonna link a couple down below that allow you to edit images for free. We're gonna open our base image. We're gonna hit quick selection tool and we're gonna select our Minecraft skin. And we're simply going to hit control J and cut them out from the background. At this point, this could be our singular image, but I wanna do something a little bit different. We're gonna add a blinking effect to our guy. So I'm gonna duplicate this layer, zoom in on my eyes, and simply fill them in. You would do this the same color your skin, but I'm just gonna do this, my dark grays and blacks. Now I'm gonna grab a rectangular marquee tool. I'm just gonna draw a skinny little rectangle on the underside of my eyes and fill it in with my eye color. So it looks like my eyes are mostly closed. I'll do this with both eyes and then save both of these images as a PNG. Make sure you just go to export, quick or export as PNG and save it. Now I'm gonna import my second image, cut out my Minecraft skin again, and then I'm gonna duplicate this layer and do the same exact blinking effect again. We're gonna export the layer, hide it, and then go back to our final open mouth speaking layer. What you're gonna do to get the little glowing eye effect I have is you're gonna select your eyes, get them laid out how you want them. You're gonna hit Control J, double click that layer. Layer style's gonna pop up. We're gonna go to outer glow. You're gonna see they start to glow. We're gonna change the blend mode to screen, opacity to whatever you think looks good. And then we're gonna also activate inner glow and do the same thing. So you pick whatever looks good and then we're gonna export this. I, adv I advise you to name these something like open eye, blink, closed, blink, however you know what scene they're going to be. Then we're gonna go into Vito Tube Mini and we're gonna select closed mouth image. It's gonna take us to wherever we put our pictures and you're gonna put the closed mouth image. So there's me. We're gonna do the same thing with the open mouth, the closed mouth blinking and the open mouth blinking. And there you have it. That's a virtually identical version of me, but we can do some things to change it. You can click these bars up here to change your motion. So as you can see here, I'm very bouncy. I'm very bouncy and I'm even more bouncy. I think this is just a little bit too energetic. So I have it set something like this. There's a bunch of hot king you can do to set up different scenes, but this is all you need to do it basically. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna set your background to whatever you want a chroma key in OBS, and then you're going to open OBS. This is where things get a little bit weird. Okay, very confusing here. I know we're just like matrixing our way all the way down the line, but we're gonna do go down here to this plus symbol, add a game capture source. I'll name it PNG Tuber. I'm going to 
capture a specific window and pick veto tube mini and there i am so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to either add a filter to this or i'm just going to simply click allow transparency if you click allow transparency a little bit of uh the outline kind of picks around your character and if you're fine with that that's fine but another way you can do it is you're going to hit okay you're going to go to filters here you're going to add filter chroma key key color type green and then you're just going to play with this slider till it it looks how you want it to i think that's good so i'm just going to add it and there we go there is now two of me on the screen uh talking and all reacting to my voice as a png tuber folks this has been a little bit of a different tutorial you can do this with any image it doesn't have to be minecraft but i just did it with minecraft because i'm primarily a minecrafter uh if you want to see the video i originally used this on check out this video right here i've been speaker four and i will catch you on the flip side later